Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to cut your own hair. I'm going to start from presenting my favorite technique to trim split ends. Next you're going to see how we can feather them out and get them a more natural look using either scissors or a razor. That's something you may want to do to enhance the look of your ends, in case your hair is really thick and voluminous. My own hair is quite thin and I trim the ends every two months, just a tiny bit, so today to be able to make a good demonstration I'll be using my Glam Time hair extensions. The best technique to trim split ends, especially if you plan to trim more than half an inch at a time, is to put your hair into a very tight low ponytail, as low as possible at the back of your head, and secure it with multiple hair ties till the level where you want to trim the ends. For this technique your hair needs to be straight and perfectly brushed out. Using very sharp, ideally professional scissors, you want to trim the ends right below the bottom hair tie. And once it's done, we can remove all the hair ties. But we're not done here yet, and in a moment you're going to see why. As you remember, I use my hair extensions in this video, and I'm going to trim them in several horizontal sections. I'm going to split the first one right in the middle at the back of my head, and bring to the front. At this point you're going to notice that your outer ends are longer than your inner ends. And that's something we should take care of. So we're going to trim the longest ends to the length of the shortest ends. The most important thing about this technique is that you should brush out your section really well and hold the ends between your fingers really tightly. So once you grab them, they shouldn't move even a tiny bit. And here's one trick to delicately feather out your ends. All you need to do is to cut them, directing your scissors toward your fingers. Now I'm going to repeat the same procedure with the right section. I thoroughly brush it out, fixate the ends tightly between my fingers and trim the longest ends to the length of the shortest ends. Finally I can feather them out, directing the scissors toward my fingers. That's the intermediate result and I'm going to use this here as the guide for the following horizontal sections. So I release the following section and trim it to the length of my guide. If it's the first time you're trying this technique, I recommend you to create the guide which is really really thin and cut your hair in multiple horizontal sections. You could have five or six of them and you'd get some practice while working on each individual section. Normally that's all I do to cut my own hair, but my hair is really thin. In case of thick hair and hair extensions, I prefer when the ends are not quite as thick and blunt cut, so I feather them out. Today I'm going to show you the technique that I personally find the easiest and the safest, especially for beginners, using a razor. A razor can be extremely efficient if we know how to hold it properly. The golden angle is considered to be 45 degrees with respect to the section. Please avoid perpendicular angle and a flat angle. Both of them can cause damage to your hair and are extremely inefficient in cutting it. What you want to do is grab a thin flat section and slide the razor in short choppy motions down the ends of the hair. Next you can move on to the following section and so on. Unless you're going for a Japanese rockstar look, you don't want to start feathering your hair near the roots. Somewhere near the ends or mid-length would be your best bet. I work on my hair section by section, feather now just a little bit of hair at a time, and once I'm done with all of them, I can see if I'm happy with the result. If I think it's not enough, I can repeat the same procedure from the very beginning. Here you can compare the look of the blunt cut ends and the feather out ones. I have also used this technique to trim them even more. It wasn't necessary, but intentional. If you glide the razor without cutting the ends, you'll keep the length. And here's yet another technique to remove volume and add softness to your hair. This time you want to twist your section and glide the razor over the surface of this twist. Then you want to release the hair that's been cut and repeat the procedure as many times as you wish. When I had my first masterclass on this technique, I honestly found it really scary. But when I tried it out for myself, I actually realized that it was quite delicate. Plus, if you don't want to use a razor, you could use scissors to make tiny incisions instead. But when I say tiny incisions, I actually mean it, so make sure to make them really superficial and don't cut through the entire twist. You want to cut your twist only once at a time, then release it, remove the hair that you've just cut, and if you feel like, repeat the procedure from the beginning, twisting the section in the opposite direction. Good luck! So that's my result for today. I think I'm going to keep my hair like that for a couple of months, and then maybe I'll feather out my ends even more. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I see you in my next video. Bye!